that was kind of interesting about the road course package. Yeah, you know, I think um, we we are definitely past. Obviously, the series' biggest thing is they don't want pack racing, right? Yeah. That's logical. Since we're out of the AOK cars, I mean, if you literally look at the back wall of the photo of how big those rear wings are and how big the body kits are, we don't have that anymore. So if you just give us the full road course package to go run around Iowa at Gateway, like the racing is going to be so much better for the fans. You know, you're going to see multiple more on track passes, strategy is better, the tire life's better, everybody's life's easier. Um, so that, and obviously with the added horsepower, you know, it'd be fun to kind of have push to pass on this track too. But how does that not keep the pack tighter? What do you mean? Well, you were saying you wouldn't have pack racing, but the average person would think that with the big rear wing, it would create it. Um, this car just doesn't produce enough downforce. I mean, Ryan <coughs> said that they were going four seconds a lap faster with the aero kitted cars. I mean, if you add on our external flaps, maybe we'll go, what, a second faster? Maybe two. Yeah. So it's like it's still it's that that gap that you close, but you're not all the way there. I mean, with the with the extra wings and the extra downforce, you can go run the second and third groove without the car sliding. You run the bottom of the track without the car sliding. So it just gives you more options, you know, more places to race, in a sense. Also, you're gonna have less moments of people losing the car off corners and stuff, and saving equipment. So. I wouldn't say there's been a ton of buzz from IndyCar itself about getting new cars and getting that in there, but I know the fans kind of want that, but some of these races we look at them and go why would you change or deviate from that package are you a guy that wants to see new cars and stuff like that come into the sport um i don't care quite frankly um most people that say that aren't engineers and they don't drive them mm -hmm. i think that the one thing that this car does do well is it's a great racing car um and we know it very well now so yeah maybe aesthetically it'd be nice to see something more futuristic in a sense that integrates the aero screen better yeah that would be cool but the biggest challenge of this car is, like every driver's going to tell you, once we added that weight from the aero screen, there is no going back. I mean, the 19 car, in my opinion, was probably one of the best race cars you could have driven. Um, the only other car, in my opinion, that was about as good for racing was maybe the older GP2 car. Um, so if you take out 100 pounds off this car, the racing gets better. Add downforce, the racing will get better. But with downforce, you need power and tires and everything needs to change so it's trying to make little adjustments and then obviously the cars get heavier again next year which yeah. isn't going to be a deal are there other drivers in the garage that you've talked with us about that might share your opinion because i feel like you have so much more experience especially asphalt racing in every discipline i feel like that's how you ended up on this opinion that put the road course car cars on the oval let's do it uh well i mean even if you talk to a guy like hunter ray he's been in the sport for 20 years or close to, he's got a championship and a 500 win, you know. I think that everybody's a little bit of afraid to step on each other's toes, whereas, you know, for me, it doesn't make a difference. I just want what's best for the sport. Um, but, yeah, no, I'd like to – I think that everybody wants to see the cars take a different direction, but we also have to understand that in an entertainment business and a series where you need manufacturers, we need to have the, the – uh, the new technology that we're getting. So I'm really excited to see what the the, uh, the electric motor does because it means it's going to be a nice boost of horsepower. But what I'd like to see is them also give us more boost <laughs> so the cars are just closer to like the 850 horsepower mark every weekend as opposed to like the 720. So, but yeah. You didn't run this race last year, but this race last year helped you become a Penske driver for like three days. I know, right? Just how odd that was, the whole scenario that happened last year. Yeah, that was um, funny enough. You know, it's such an honor to be called by uh, Penske and Tim Sindrick and, you know, the captain and all those guys to fill in for uh, potentially Joseph, who was injured. I kind of really, um, for my career, just, you know, we'd been having a great off season or a couple of races being a part-time driver but that really just kind of made my name more yeah. prominent and like okay you should be here so you know if they believe in my talent then why wouldn't another team was the biggest change of that the you know the Penske you know black slacks starch white shirt tucked in uh I actually wear black I've been wearing black slacks at the track now for almost my entire <laughs> IndyCar career and a button down. Um, until you saw me today, and I'm in a uh, tank top 
yeah. Paul, Paul Tracy style, because we are in the Midwest. Yeah. So yeah, slightly different than the Penske uh, Penske image uh, today. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I have the suit up. <laughs> and finally, just uh, you know how much momentum AJ Foyt Racing achieved at the Indy 500 this year. How important was that, and how much does the team still feel that boost in confidence? Oh, that's huge. I mean, if you look at that, we struggled in Detroit, um, but then we get to Road America where, you know, this, these cars in, the, in their history has been absolutely miserable on the road courses. And we put both cars in the past 12, which is something they haven't done in the last five years. And then we easily had a top 10 finish. We just had a, did something fail on one of our pit stop guns, and obviously a race kind of struggled from there, but we ended up coming back to finish 16th, which was impressive with only uh, 20 laps left, yeah. 25 laps left in the race. So. Um, you know, we definitely have the pace, um, and we have the momentum, and I think we have a great direction with the engineering, so it's just trying to keep up with that.